Hey guys, Adam Savage here in my cave in an area you don't often frequent when you visit me in these videos. Um, I'm way up by my front door and I'm over here because this is where I have parked the newest tool in the cave, which is Formlabs' beautiful large format 3L printer. Uh, courtesy is here, courtesy of Formlabs' generosity and we're running it through its paces. And since this is the first 3D printer I've had direct access to, I am learning a lot about the workflow. I always knew with filament printers, there's a lot of post-processing because of the texture that the print leaves. But there's also a lot of post-processing for resin prints. You've got to wash the uncured resin. You've got to cure the surface. Uh, and that involves some stages with uh, isopropyl alcohol. And it turns out one of the best ways to do that final curing is in an ultraviolet oven, which is apparently a rite of passage for owners of resin printers. And I'm about to go through that rite of passage. It's UV oven time. The, f the first thing that I'm gonna make is a, a pair of hexagons. That'll be the top and the bottom of this because the interior will be a big circle. And everything you put on that circle will get cured as it were. Right, uh, A, A, gotta make sure we keep these things lined up, A, A, let's make some measurements. Let's see here, we got nine and three quarters, we got, okay, so this is nine, Seven five nine point eight seven five. This is nine point eight seven five. Nine point eight seven five. This is nine point seven five. I am pleased with how consistent these are. 9.875. I'm going to cut out some of those over there. No. No. Oh, 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 oh. Did I get this? I screwed up. I screwed up a lot. <laughs> Got to get some more wood. Oh, wait, no, 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 I didn't screw up. Wait, those are the off cuts. These are the off cuts. Where did I put the real cuts? There they are! I had never made this cut yet. Right, so I think if I'm right, this is 17. Yes! So 9.875, that's what I'm doing. Need to cut out a couple of circles. Circles. Gotta cut out. Okay. 
This is my turntable. It is not super high robust, but it doesn't need to be. And when you plug it in, it turns at about one RPM, which is perfect for me. So I'm going to use this as my cutting template because I'm going to make a little a ring that aligns this into the that aligns this into the uh, divide into the, the chamber, and then then one that aligns its. Uh, yeah, you'll see. That's just what I wanted. And for the chamber itself, the diameter that I want is 16 and, okay, 16 and three quarters it is. Um, That's that. Great. This is working out great. All right. Awesome. So that's the size. All right, I've got a ring here and I'm gonna use it to register my turntable. All right, let's just double check this measurement here. Wonderful. Damn, perfect. Okay. Wonderful. Now there's a second one of these. 
There it is. Right, so this one, yes, that's what happens. This glues here. Yes. And then. Okay, let's. Uh... Oh, I gotta cut this circle out first. Hang on. I'm making some concentric circles to make it just a little bit easier for me to line up. I really want this thing, well, no, I want this thing to be as tight as possible, really. Yeah. Great. Let's see here. Oh, right, I need to go slightly outside of that ring, that's why. <coughs> Great. Great. Let's glue this puppy up. Yeah, I think I've got enough to do this. That's it. Got them all. All right. We're going to do it. We're going to do a test. We're going to take this for a test spin, as it were. Yeah. I'm going to uh, power this up. Let's see. Come there. And there. And, yep, it's spinning. So... Yeah, okay, so you want to see it spinning. Let's uh, just double check its clearance to each of these. Clear, 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 clear. Where's clear? And where's clear? All right. Great. I'm gonna, I guess I don't really need to secure that down. I mean, it's better if it all comes out, right? Okay, so let's, um, let's make the thing. Oh, I guess I can put all this away because I don't need any more of that stuff. Now, one of the things that I need in this Easy Bake Oven that I'm making is reflectivity. I'm going to be putting LED lights all the way around it, but I need them to also be reflected. So I'm going to cover the insides of all six walls and the ceiling and this platform with Mylar. So I'm going to do that before assembly. All right, I've got some Mylar blanket here. I'm just going to start to apply. We'll see how it goes.
if this isn't perfectly flat when it goes down, that is okay. But I'm going to move it off the sticky stuff to do that. Uh, I'm just going to show this to you in the distance. I'm doing it. I'm going in. I'm not taking too much ceremony about it. I'm just going to... Great, great. That's just what I was hoping for. Look at that, you can almost see yourself. Wow, look at that. Ooh. Okay, so that's that. I've got to do the interior of the top. I'm so sorry. There we go. Come on, don't be disagreeable. Come on, be cooperative. Okay. There we go. Whoops.
Thank All you. right. I may be able to assemble this as it is. Look, yes, yes. I know, this is quick and dirty. That's how we do it. All right. Let's see what I can get going here. Got the actual staples. Oh, 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 okay. Where's the A? There's the A. Good enough. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Now it's time for me to add some LEDs. Take a look inside. Whoa! Oh, that looks awesome. Fabulous. All right. All right, so here's what I'm planning to do here. I'm planning to put the LEDs in the ceiling here in concentric circles, and then I'm going to use the other roll of 25 feet to do a ring around the top and a ring around the bottom. And that should get me full coverage with reflectivity of UV light. Um, why am I doing it this way? I am doing it this way because I know when I'm working with electronics, I could cause something to break and not know where it broke once I try and turn it on at the end. So if I leave these on the whole time and then they go off, well, then I know where my mistake was. And I learned this the hard way every single time I try to do it not this way. Um, so, I'm just slowly going to button this down, and we're going to listen to some music.
All right. <clears throat> I am wiring it up. Uh, I've got LEDs going around the base, and I've got them shining down from the ceiling. I'll make a door that's also reflective. This turntable will spin. I am totally aware that Sean Charlesworth, here on Tested, made a beautiful video about how to build a super easy uh, 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 UV drying oven using a fingernail, uh, fingernail polish dryer. Um, and it's great, actually. I learned a lot from that video since I haven't done much resin printing. I've just gone a little bigger to accommodate the size of the, the Form 3L. Uh, so I'm going to put in a power cord. Is it this long? It might end up being this long. I don't mind long power cords. I mind them a lot less than I do short power cords. But you know what? Maybe I'll just do one, two, like, that's 20 feet. This is three, four. Yeah, that's um, 25 feet, what this is. Uh, that's great. Yeah. Um, just one, all right. So now I need to Yeah, that's what I want. Um, what I need to do is I need to be able to get the AC that's coming in here to go to both the turntable, which is AC power, and the lights. So I just need a little bit of a, a stringer between here. Once I have that, I should have it all lit up. This is a fast one. Here it is, my hexagonal drying oven for my 3D printed pieces. There they are, spinning gently in their little discotheque. Yeah, oons, 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 oons. Hey everybody, how are you doing? It's a good nightclub, yeah? Yeah, it's a German nightclub, it's very fun. We'll have a dance, yeah, mm-hmm. Everything purple. Yeah, everyone get the sunburn. Hello. Oons, 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 oons. Man, did you like that little trip? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Um, quick and dirty. Quick and dirty, that was the whole point. Um, that is two whole rafts of prints from the bed of the printer. So it'll dry, that's great, it's great, it's great. Um, I tell you, when you put your hand in there, it's warm, it's warm. And you feel the ultraviolet light. For a specific curing, I've got this guy here, which, yeah, um, also is super crazy, sunburning bright. I'm really excited about this 3D printing thing. Thank you guys for joining me for this one day build, and I will see you Thank you for watching that entire video. If you'd like to support us further, you can head over to the Tested Store. Links are in the comments below and you can buy things like our demerit badges. You've heard of merit badges. These are the opposite. This one here is for measuring once and cutting twice. We went back and forth whether to measure once and curse twice, because that also happens. We went with the cut twice. And this is one of my all time favorites. This is when you accidentally release the mysterious blue smoke that makes all electronics work and then they no longer work. You can't release that smoke. Head over to our store, get yourself some demerit badges, and we will see you next time.